In this video, I will be showing you how to create a Star of Bethlehem stained glass painting. To create this painting, you need some watercolor paper to work on. And then I'm gonna start with my pencil, and then I'm gonna go over it with a black Sharpie and a ruler. You may wanna have a eraser if you make any mistakes. And then to add the paint, I'm using the Reeves brand watercolor paints on my palette. I have some water, paper towel, and some brushes. Super easy painting to make, very relaxing, and a great way to celebrate Christmas. To begin my painting, I am going to start with a pencil and I'm going to draw a star shape up here on the top. Okay, I'm doing it really light in pencil in case I make a mistake. And then this first part, I'm going to draw a triangle shape like it's a beam of light coming down, indicate a little bit of ground. And then I'm going to draw a manger, <clears throat> which is sort of a rectangle shape, give it a little bit of legs, indicate a little bit of a body for baby Jesus and a little head for Jesus. Okay, keep it real simple. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna come over this with a Sharpie and I'm gonna use my ruler to draw a straight line. And I'm gonna draw lines with Sharpie. Okay, now I'm gonna go over the manger and the legs and baby Jesus' body and face. So I'm indicating everything um, with the Sharpie now. I just wanna kinda of get that first step done in, in pencil um, just in case I made a mistake. The same thing now with my star. I'm going to go over my pencil lines and then I can erase any of the pencil lines showing through. All right. This Sharpie will really kind of cause this to look like a, a stained glass when I paint it. Now, when I draw my lines on here, I'm holding my ruler in the middle and then I am going to draw, you know, different kind of triangle shapes is what I want to create. You know, triangles or trapezoids or some kind of a shape. I don't want it to be like rectangles, but just kind of all kinds of different shapes coming off of here. Okay, I'm gonna go in fast motion here to finish off the rest of my lines. So I'm just kind of drawing these random lines with my ruler and Sharpie to create the stained glass effect. So I'm gonna have some long lines, some shorter lines, maybe a little more of a base on the bottom. And see how I change the direction and kind of divide up that big triangle into some smaller triangles or some smaller trapezoid kind of shapes. Okay, once I have a few shapes indicated, then I'm gonna come back with my watercolor paint and I'm gonna start kind of with the, the star and the beam of light coming down. So I'm gonna go with a yellow and I'm going to first paint the yellow um, triangle that surrounds the baby in the manger. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a little bit of orange and kind of indicate some orange down here on the base, like the ground. The rest of it, I'm sticking to cool colors. So the cool colors would be purple, blue, and green. Or what I wanna to try to do, um, the rest of that stained glass kind of effect across my painting. So I'm doing a little bit of ultramarine blue, some phthalo blue, um, a little bit of different shades of red and greens to really make this look interesting. So I'm using a Winsor Newton watercolor brush here. It's got a nice tip kind of get the edges and I can kind of fill in with it in most places. Sometimes I'm coming back with a Royal Soft Grip brush and uh, a little bit bigger size too where I need to fill in a, a section a little bit faster. Now this is just a really uh, fun relaxing way to paint because there's not a lot of thought to it. You just have to kind of make sure that you're not putting the same color next to each other. And when you're finished, this will look a lot like a stained glass window in a church with the bright colors and the black lines kind of separating each color. All right, so I'm gonna go through, making sure I have a variety of colors throughout it and not the same color next to it, if I can help it. I really like, um, you know, how the different colors look next to each other. Uh, it'll make them really stand out and be brighter by using a variety of those cool colors. Okay, so now that I have everything painted, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to indicate kind of a brown shape for the manger and a little bit of a light brown color, orangish brown color for the baby's head. And then the last step is come back and add a second layer to your paint.
You can see how the second layer of paint really makes everything pop out and stand out by going through and painting it a second time. I decided I wanted my star to be yellow so I painted that in also. And then a second layer to my orange really helps everything pop out also. Here is my finished painting of Baby Jesus with the Star of Bethlehem. Hey, thanks for joining us on Kid Art Nation. If you enjoyed our videos, it would mean a lot if you liked the videos and subscribed to our channel. Remember, you are important, you are amazing, you are an artist.